she is she is 38 inches long and 21 inches wide i believe is what it is um, it is an amazon cart i've seen them on amazon but i just don't know the name of them i think they were like 149 or something on on amazon new but we got it for 60 dollars and it was just a cart that's it with a black liner and it nothing on it so we'll start with the additions that i've done so far i put this or i'm sorry one by sixes all the way across with some bolts you can see attached how they're attached in there on that side well i got some bolts there on so i can screw various fishing items to it um add things to the board now the one by six board i put there for various reasons I like to add items on there that i want to add without having to put another boat or something like that just screw it on onto the board now the pouch here this little thing here it's repurposed it came off of that cart so i thought i'll put it on this one so as i did i cut it off of the other one and i went to lowe's and got me this black l strip it's a strip on the side just the l shape and i folded this over and put the bar down and then put a nut and bolt which you'll see from the side there's the nuts and bolts so did that added that to it and then i added these two pieces of pvc with the pipe straps to hold my rod holders my two rod holders uh, I'm going to add some other rod holders probably in that spot, or some adjustable ones. And then on the back side here, I added this netting. It was on the back of the other old cart, so I cut it off and used it as well. And that's what houses my cutting board for cutting my shad or any other type of bait I may have. I added me some rod holders, just bolted them on the back, right here. Two rod holders, or whatever you want to put in there. They're just held on by nuts and long bolts. And I left those bolts long for a specific reason. I'm going to have a fold down table that folds down and then folds up to where I can cut like bait or whatever on it. Okay, and then. I added this piece of carpet. I found it, believe it or not, at the um, $1.99 store. And it was $1.99. And it's pretty thick and it's a nice little mat. So you can either flip it over and use, you know, rubber on that side or carpet. So I did the carpet and it really basically just fits perfect. And then on this side, I added the one by sixes, both of them on, and added five rod holders to it. They were bolted on, and I cut the sides out. I'll show you they're not straight. This isn't made to be pretty, it's a fishing cart. But I cut the sides out for the poles to sit down in. And that's about it. I'm going to add probably one more rod holder to hold two more rod adjustable rod holders on the other side and maybe maybe i might put a a homemade stern light in the rear that can light up the car i'll just slip a switch toggle switch because i got a spare battery i hope you liked it and enjoyed the video oh i forgot to say what i did to hold the cart together from coming apart is I added these little metal 
straps with nuts and bolts to them. I know they're not straight. Like I said, it's, it's a fishing cart. It's not a show car. So I did it there, added two there. And I added two in the front to hold the cart together. Then you got all these nuts and bolts holding it so it's not going anywhere. And it also has 10 inch pneumatic tires. And they're good as well. They are 10 inch pneumatic tires. I wish they're a little bit bigger, 12 inches, but 10 is better than what these little wheels are any day. So, well there's my cart. I hope you liked it. Well now I'm going to load the cart up with my rod and reels and fishing supplies so you can see what it looks like with all of my gear in it. All right, here we are. My cart is partially loaded down with what I usually take. There's a few things missing like a lantern and the ice chest, but I'll explain that ice chest situation in just a second. As you can see, I got all the poles in the pole holder. All in the pole holders. All nice and neat. And then back here, got my tackle box, which I will be downgrading. It, it doesn't need to be this big anymore. Um, I'm going to get something smaller. Right here, I got my bag with all my night goodies in it, like my hat and lights and headlamps and mosquito spray, everything else. And then here in the front, I got this board here to illustrate. I'm gonna put this there. And that's where I'm gonna put my ice chest. It's on top of there. Um, I will mount it. Now I left these on here for that reason. Right here, there's a hook. And then there's this little bracket with a circle to it, a hole on each side. So I use those to strap it down and hold the ice chest. Um, as far as right now, this won't be hanging off. You know, it'll be cut off even. But that's just to illustrate where the ice chest will go. And then underneath, you can see, you can store stuff underneath it. Right, there's my ice chest, my cast net. So that shows you how I got my cart loaded. Uh, minus a few things. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any, if you have any questions or or anything you want to know, don't hesitate to leave me a comment, and I will answer you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and if you can, like and subscribe. Thank you.